For those of you out there in my audience who are planning on watching the State of the Union Address tonight at 9 p.m., I would like to offer humbly this video, the information contained, as a bit of a primer, because after watching this and answering some questions I'm going to ask, you will see the entire address in a whole new light, and especially for those of you who have joined us over the Florida Monkey Patreon channel, watching that video will absolutely blow your mind, because it will make you see the truth of what's coming. If you don't watch either video, then you're going to, like so many others, see stumbles and gaffes. You're going to hear things you agree with and disagree with. But there is a certain context that nobody is going to have unless they ask the right question. Now, what is that right question? Well, we get into it very, very deeply over at the Florida Monkey Patreon channel. And just earlier today, brand new video, this is an alert, brand new video just dropped a couple hours ago over there, about 25 minute video. And when you look at it in the light of recent history and things that happened only about 100 years ago and things that are happening now and you start asking certain questions and then listen to what they're saying. It is going to make your jaw drop. You're going to have a moment where you want to get everybody together and say, hey, listen to this, and now ask yourself this question. What's the big question? What is government going to do, whether it be a future one with Donald Trump or a continuation of the Bidenomics? What are they going to do to make my money go farther or are we going to survive another four years monetarily? All economic wealth or lack thereof is going to fall on the decisions and the policies of Washington, D.C. And that, in and of itself, is a win for Washington, D.C., no matter what happens. That's the mind-blowing part. Now, here's the question. I'm not going to ruin the entire Patreon video that we've done, but I'm going to ask questions that... I think a lot of people have asked themselves, if you had a choice, there's folks out there that play the lottery every day and hope that they win all of those dollars and they won't have to worry about certain things in life anymore. If you had a choice, though, if somebody came to you and said, you know what, give us all your receipts for the last month for all the groceries that you've needed and whatever's on those receipts, we will provide for you on a monthly basis for the rest of your life. Now, they're not talking about money, and they're not talking about coupons. What they're talking about is the actual things. If you two dozen eggs, five pounds of ground beef, a gallon of milk, you'll have a way to go in and get those actual usable things every month, whatever your monthly usage is, for the rest of your life. That's option one. Would you take that, or would you take the equivalent of that, whatever it would be, in gold? Or would you take the dollars? whatever it's worth in dollars right now, 700, 800, 1,000, whatever it is, in groceries a month. Now, think about that in the context of the Great Depression. This is a real sign. This was not made up. This isn't AI. Nobody created this. Back during the Great Depression, when things were so bad in this country and real goods, food, could not be gotten, there were those who turned to what at that time was called indentured servitude. And I found this picture. It says, unemployed will take any job. Now, some might say, well, I think I would probably choose the food. Some might take the money. Some might take the gold. But what if, what if they offered you some type of a food stamp card and they said, well, you can have this food stamp card. You can have this. But if we offer you a job that you can do and you refuse it, you get nothing. If we offer you a job that you can do, I'm not talking about one you want to do or you would like to do or would be convenient for you. If we have a job for you that pays money and you refuse it, you are no longer entitled to any kind of government help or loans or anything else. See, most conservatives would say, that's a good idea. We should, if there are folks out there and they're on the take and they're 
getting all of these government benefits and they're living high in the hog and there's a job out there and they're refusing that job. We should force them to do that job. Okay, let's do that. Let's involve the military in this because we have this huge shortage in the military, right? And they've had to just delete jobs that they can no longer fill. Well, if we have all these people out there that don't have jobs and can't pay for stuff and they're on the short every month and there's a job out there, say, in the military that pays better, shouldn't we force them to take it? You see, that's the fusion. That's the fusion of capitalism and socialism because isn't it immoral to not pay your bills? Isn't it immoral to not pay your bills? Meaning, if the job out there, that the only ones out there you could take, you would see is immoral. Well, which is the, the choice of the two? showed this in a Patreon video. Um, very popular video that ran around uh, YouTube Shorts and TikTok about this guy who was working in a sewer, a live sewer with a uh, pressure sprayer, which basically atomizes everything that you flush down the toilet. And he's down there, no mask, no no protective gear, no nothing, with roaches all over, crawling in and out of his shirt and everything. And I thought it was a great thing to show that if you had to do this job, what if there was a shortage of sewer workers in your area and you had the ability physically had the ability to run a power washer and they said okay you know this is what you're gonna this is what you're gonna do or you're gonna go hungry you see back in the 30s there were a lot of folks who turned to other things that paid the bills so to speak and for some reason they were derided and castigated by the religious community and said and they were you know pushed to the fringes of society because of their so-called moral failing for doing what they had to do to feed themselves and take care of themselves. You see, they decided they wanted to choose later on, 20 years later in the war, they wanted to choose socialism instead. I love this image because these are actual ads from World War II, our great-grandparents and grandparents' generation, the one we call the genera- you know, the greatest generation. Rationing safeguards, ready for this, ready for this, your share. Rationing means a fair share for all of us. No matter how much money you have, you're entitled to only a certain amount. That is your share. Now, think about that in the modern Trump world context about the idea of something, someone being entitled to something simply because they're a human being. And someone who has more money isn't necessarily entitled to having more simply because they have more money. Can you imagine? Well, this is the values of our grandparents. I hear all this MAGA, make America great again, make America great again. Is this what we're talking about? See, this is this is the context. This is the context. Back to the, then, they tried to stamp out free market capitalism. They called it black markets, but what it was was free market capitalism. They tried to stamp it out during World War II while ironically saying they're fighting against the socialism in Europe. Capitalism turning luxuries into things you must have, necessities, and socialism turning necessities into luxuries. So you'd really have to ask yourself a question. Now, here's the, here's the piece de resistance of this video, the one that's probably going to make, if you haven't clicked off already, this is the one that's going to do it. How many heard the story about this uh, actress, Drea um, DiMatteo, I believe is her name, from The Sopranos? It was on Fox that she was ready to be kicked out of her home, kicked out of her house. She was in what they call forbearance on her mortgage. She couldn't pay her mortgage. She couldn't pay her mortgage. She was ready to be kicked out of her house. She was out of money. And guess what? She turned to OnlyFans. And she went over there and posted some pics and made a crap ton of money real fast and paid off her house. Went from being in arrears to paying off her house. Now, some might ask this question. You ready? Here's the question. Shouldn't she have been forced to go dance on a stage somewhere, go pose in her underpants somewhere before she got into forbearance? I mean, shouldn't the bank have been able to say, okay, now wait a minute, Miss Mateo. We know you have the opportunity to go here, 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 do all these different things. 
you know, that might be morally somewhat questionable, but legal, but legal, and you owe us money. And we believe it's more immoral, more immoral for you to not pay your bills than for you to run around your skivvies. That's what we believe and that's what we think. Great story out there, Enterprise Apps, about the meteoric rise of that platform and why. It's simple, it's simple math. It is just simple math. Now, here's where things get a little bit weird. How many of you have seen this meteoric rise of Bitcoin? The, why has it gone up to this incredible number? Well, simple. The U.S. government now regulates it. The big selling point of cryptocurrency was what when they first started? It's a currency that the government's not in control of. It's a currency that the government knows nothing about. And it's completely independent of governments. And what's made it go up? to 67,000, pushing 70,000, almost 70,000 now, is the fact that the government now regulates it and it can be invested in on the stock market. Kind of ironic, isn't it? Even though the only place where you can actually get groceries or buy anything with it is in, ready for this? Venezuela. Who accepts Bitcoin as payment? I'll give you this, 99bitcoins.com. Talking about how KFC and uh, Burger King and who else? Um, KFC, Overstock, Subway. Subway in Venezuela. In evil, terrible, horrible, socialist Venezuela because they had to find a way to get away from the dollar. That's what happened. You just can't make this stuff up. So I guess that would that would be my question about the groceries. The big thing everybody is concerned about, the border... They're coming here and taking our jobs. That's about the money. Ukraine, it's about how much does Ukraine cost? It's about the money. Inflation, it's about the money. Everything's going to be about the money and what can or government cannot do to help make us better financially. And that's the really the win. The real win is that. Government now saying, okay, well, now everybody, both left and right, is on the same sheet of music looking to Washington, D.C. to fix their financial future. And that is what we do, or choose to not do, that's going to be the deciding factor into whether somebody is wealthy or not, whether somebody is comfortable or not, can afford groceries or not. They're going to turn to us. They're going to turn to government to fix all that problem, and that's the context. That's the basis of it. Now go watch the State of the Union. Now go watch and listen to what's being said, knowing that's the context. And you're going to hear it in a very different way. It's going to make Darth Vader look like the good guy. Because even he had a council he had to work with. And even he had to answer to somebody. Kind of mind-blowing that so many years later, you think, man, Darth Vader himself wouldn't have dreamed, would not have dreamed of being this evil. So, once again, God bless all of you who have joined us over Patreon. I very, very much appreciate it, making a huge huge difference in my life. Patreon is now the the driving force of the Florida Maquis. Those of you who are continuing to join us in the evenings to watch the uh, old Antarctica content, God bless you guys as well. Um, But that's pretty much all that will truly be allowed here on YouTube without any censor stepping in. So thank you so much. It's fully refundable, fully refundable. Those of you who are on the fence, $1 a month for the first three months Meaning now, what is it? It's March, so March, April, May. You know, you got you got months to look at all the content. Hundreds of videos over there, never before been seen. Some of their channels, they'll post videos over there, and they'll post them over there like an hour earlier before they post them on YouTube. But all the content is ends up being available. Not the Florida Maquis. When you go over there and you pay your dollar a month or you pay your five dollars a month, nobody else can see those videos. There is no free way to go see those videos. So you're actually getting something. You're getting a different level of content over there. And it's uh, it's pissed off some people, I'll be very honest. 
you know, I've lost a few people because they think the content is too racy, um, it's too revealing, it's uh, too uh, focused on one topic, but believe me, this topic that we focus on over there is directive and indicative of what's happening in the real world. So, once again, dollar a month, fully refundable first 90 days, less than that, if you sign up for a whole year, it's actually less than a dollar a month. And we do have a $5 a month level. You can pledge whatever you want. You know, whatever God would put on your heart, I would sure appreciate. Totally up to you. Thank you so much for your time. I very, very much appreciate it. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. God bless. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.